Virgo, welcome to your reading. I hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. I hope that you're doing something you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message finds you. Of course, and simply, because you deserve to, right? You deserve to enjoy your time here. We all do. Virgo, I have some bad news, good news. Take it how it resonates, I guess. This is going to be a different reading for you because I just got this deck and I haven't even went through the cards yet. I don't even know what anything looks like. I just went based off of the pictures on the back of the box. I was like, that's a cool ass deck. It's, I don't know. It's not, oh, Pegasus. Something about Pegasus. Pegasus Oracle or something. But this is the back of the cards. Crazy person. Crazy little fairy riding the Pegasus or something. But it's just dope, and I'm just gonna intuitively read these cards for you. So it might resonate, might not, I don't know. But not every reading has to be perfect, you know? Oh, I also, many people will be glad to hear this. Got a freaking mic, right? I'm not using it in this video, so this will sound the same. But it's because it's like, oh, the one I got is like kind of high tech. It's not just one of those little, like, black tiny microphones that you put right here because i don't like those ones i don't like when people wear those this is a, i don't i don't like the look of it you know it's like hide it behind your neck or something or i don't know oh spirit is talking oh virgo i feel like you've been really unsure or a little bit unsure about the direction you're heading in right I think you have desires, dreams, goals, wishes, and I think that you're trying to take whatever steps you can. Wow, this is card one in the deck too. I think you're trying to take whatever steps you can to move closer to those goals, but I think the road ahead of you looks a bit cloudy, foggy. Um, you're a bit unsure about potentially the people, places, and things that are surrounding you, right? Sorry. Let's see what we got. Uh, this is a card, number 28. This is the back of the freaking whole deck. Look what you got. Tapped in, Virgo, because this card says transcending, right? You're taking leaps forward, you're moving. There is progression, right? Uh, and look at that, a bit unsure. Second guessing yourself. This card says re reflecting pool stillness, right? Card number 33. I think I'm gonna like this reading actually. Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. Mm. We do need one more card though. Hey, look, spirit knows what it is. She said, Virgo. Virgo. Bear spirit. One more card, spirit. Mm. Uncertainty. Uncertainty on the bottom of the deck. You might be a little uncertain about which direction you're heading. Come on, Virgo. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Activation. Transcending stillness. Refuge. Healing activation. Uncertainty. You're heavily, heavily protected by your guides right now. Any uncertainty that you might feel, Virgo, it's a part of your process. It's a part of the process. It's, it's a part of your activation, right? You were meant to feel this uncertainty, right? You were definitely, absolutely meant to sit in this stillness. Um, I think this stillness is actually what is kind of activating this uncertainty. It's making you doubt your, or second guess yourself, I'll say the way that you're heading, the direction you're heading, the people you're surrounding yourself with, but it's because you're supposed to, Virgo. Because you are transcending, reaching new heights spiritually, right? This card to me is speaking of somebody that heavily relies on their faith, 
their their trust in the divine, their trust in their gods, angels, spirit team, right? They ha you heavily rely on that and them in order to navigate through life, the trenches of life. So because you are so protected, this stillness is an absolute necessity, Virgo, for you. It is not, do not let this second guessing yourself feel like anything other than double checking your work, right? The people you surround yourself with, the things you're doing, the direction you're heading. Okay, Virgo, this is just double checking your work, making sure that you are bringing the right people with you, bringing the right mindsets, ideals with you, Virgo. Holy fuck. I was born to do this shit. Anyway, <laughs> making sure that everything that you are doing and contributing to, everything you're allowing to tap in with your energy, this double, this stillness is just you double checking that these things are absolutely meant to be with you on the journey that you're heading towards and to Virgo, right? Don't let it discourage you if you are feeling this stillness, feeling like nothing is moving in your life, nothing is progressing forward. Virgo, it is it is simply just the universe giving you the opportunity to double check your work, right? Before you turn it into the teacher, right? You take a second look at it. This is what the universe is offering you in this stillness, reflecting pool. It's also giving you a chance, of card number 33, it's giving you a chance to Look at yourself, right? Who are you right now, Virgo? What are you What are you in comparison to what you were, right? Has there been progress made? Has has there been effort made, you know? I'm sure there has been both progress, effort and much more, Virgo, but this is the universe giving you that opportunity to self-reflect so that you can see it for yourself, right? So that you can digest it for yourself and ultimately just embody the truth that you find within that reflection. Sometimes I think I'm too smart for my own good or too wise, right? <laughs> and that scares me because it makes me think that I'm gonna not live for a long time. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like very, very wise people, very wise souls, the world has a way of, heaven has a way of needing them back sooner. I don't know why I said that, Virgo. Refuge is what's in the center. Sixteen reduces to seven. Thirty-three reduces to six. First card, twenty-eight, reduces. To 10 so this is the start of a new cycle in your life virgo and it's the start in your life where you it's kind of like if you were to go back 10 years ago you would wish that you had like let's put it like this if you were however old you are virgo 10 years ago if you had all the all the knowledge that you have now if you had that 10 years ago i mean all of the choices that you would have made within those 10 years would be different right i feel like this is a time period in your life where you're consciously aware of how much you've grown how much you've intended and tried to grow right over just your lifespan or the course of your or this time period in your life or the previous time period that you were in right I think you're just consciously aware of how much you've grown and because of that you're also under the impression or within the awareness that you are in a new cycle you are transcending right and that is allowing you to find peace and comfort within yourself because now i feel like you see the divinity that is within you or you're starting to experience that witness that believe that you're starting to find yourself around people, places, and things, environments that you are comfortable with. Things that you think will facilitate your growth even further than beyond yourself, right? Because you know that you're going to, if you are by yourself, 
then you will continue to grow regardless of where you're at you will continue to grow because now you have that knowledge you have that understanding and that wisdom that once you are on this spiritual path it never stops the growth is always it's it's an everyday thing and i think that you're understanding this and you're taking refuge in that you're you're taking shelter within that fact right the knowledge that is that you're understanding the world on a much different level and scale than you were capable of in the past virgo mm. i love this for you i think you're vibrating on the frequency of love and that is what is activating all of this beauty into your life with healing and activation it's this is spirit team spirit guides ancestors angels this is your spirit guide right here this bear spirit i know it's uh it's, it's definitely a coincidence that i'm just so obsessed with bears and my whole channel's about bears for some reason because they're cute as fuck right look at this bear if i could ride a bear what the fuck that'd be dope but this is a coincidence it's nothing nobody planned this you saw me shuffle the cards but this is a guide right this is you up here virgo you know moving towards this activation moving towards this place that is surrounded by spirits and fairies it's like you are just even your healing virgo i think the way that you move through life you know no matter what you're doing i think you lead a life that is of righteousness right I think that you exercise your free will in a way that pleases your ancestors, guides, angels, and God or gods. I think you do. And because of that, I think that they, regardless of what you're doing in life, Virgo, I think they, they intensely protect you. You might find that in your life, Virgo, um, compared to the people around you, you might you might catch yourself um not getting away with more things but just being made up like you you might catch yourself dodging more undesirable situations than those around you you might catch yourself getting out of undesirable situations easier than those around you or just knowing how to get out of those situations right um and it might seem like it's luck or coincidence but i think virgo you're just very protected i think that you are made of your ancestors angels and guides make you aware of what not to do what to do in order to you know tra what's the word traverse in order to get through these obstacle courses of life this is a trip this is a weird ass reading but I'm fucking with it, Virgo. I'm fucking with it, all right? I'm so happy I got this deck. What the fuck? I was like, I'm gonna give myself a Christmas present. <laughs> and I saw this deck. And I got it. And I love it. You so uncertain. Strength in the reverse. You're really uncertain. Ooh, and growth. I feel like you're doubting how much you've... Mm. I think because of where you find yourself at in life, you might believe that you should be further ahead or farther ahead or in a different position right you might feel like you are deserving of a different status or a different position different people places and things right because of the work that you put into yourself and your reality and the focus that you put into it right into your healing and um you maybe have felt very activated by spirit closely attended to by spirit right getting out of all those sticky situations and or just feeling guided heavily by spirit, right? So you might, because of that, you might feel like, you know, you should be further ahead or in a different area. It might be causing some of this uncertainty, right? Making you doubt yourself and your abilities, your connection to whatever, right? Your connection to your own growth. But courage in the reverse, strength in the reverse. Then we have uncertainty in the upright and growth in the upright. This just tells me those doubts, those, you know, those 
those moments of those moments of doubts doubt that you have right strength and reverse courage and reverse about who you are what you came here to do what you came here to um give the world virgo these moments of doubts are stepping stones right the universe wants to make sure that you are sure that this direction you're heading in right you already double checked your work right before you turned it into the universe do you really want to do this are you positive because once you once you make this move once you commit to this thing once you say yes to this person no to this job once you do whatever it is you're trying to do here virgo transcend to become embody which once you do this there is no going back virgo and i think the universe is trying to make sure that you're positive that you want to go this route because it's not something that you can just undo once you've done it right so if it's in regards to manifesting the life of your dreams the universe wants to make sure or is asking you or is trying to get you to confirm that this is absolutely what you want right maybe it's what you want right now but is it what you're going to want in 10 years like understand that the universe is looking out for you when it is throwing these roadblocks in your path the you know when it's throwing these shitty people in your path to test you the universe is looking out for you virgo this is the best reading i ever did in my life goddamn because that is confirmed by growth and uncertainty in the upright you know it's it, it, it just it's confirmation that this uncertainty that you're feeling it was intentional right it was intentional to make you grow it was it, the universe put this these people places things in your life that were going to make you uncertain about who you were what you're doing what you are to make you kind of be forced to redirect yourself in the direction of the why why you're doing it and if and if how you redirected yourself speaking on your why like when you were faced with these difficult situations if how you redirected yourself was back to this dream goal that you were trying to manifest that you were trying to become that you were trying to be a part of if it was what you started started all this for if it was that same dream and goal if your why was the same you know if you didn't answer the universe with an i don't know why then i think the universe did its job in trying to make you confirm what it is that you're doing, why you're doing it. Are you sure you want to do it? Is this the direction you're heading in, right? Your guides, um, your guides, universe, whatever you call it, consider it. I mean, they are all different things that I'm speaking of, but divinity was trying to was trying to call your bluff, right? Divinity was calling your bluff, seeing if this was really, if you meant what you said when you said you wanted this dream, goal, desire, person, place, thing, experience. Virgo, passage on the split. You're going somewhere new, somewhere different acceptance and i think that you have accepted it or you soon will be accepting it accepting this new adventure accepting this new journey this new life right it's giving me this energy that's you have transcended from the old ways the old beliefs the old limiting beliefs the old patterns that you were in and i think you're going 100% going to somewhere new. It's like you're living your second life, right? It's like you were given another chance, a, 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 an opportunity to press the reset button, an opportunity to pause, slow down, redirect yourself in the direction that you actually want to go in and mm, reconsider everything that has been your life up to this point or just overview right everything that you have been a part of done everything others have done to you they gave you this opportunity and chance to really digest your life experiences for what they are 
for what they are, not what you thought they were, but what they are. The refuge that you were given the opportunity to take and find within yourself is priceless. This energy in this interview reading is priceless, this refuge, because it's showing me that you are starting to be awakened to that, that divine light that is within you, that you can spread and, you know, activate within others. Hmm. I'm going to leave this reading right there. A little cliffhanger. Virgo, I hope this message found you all. You're in good health and good wealth. This was a strange reading. I'm posting it at a strange time. It's Christmas Eve right now. I'm going to post it just right now. And I don't expect anybody to see this reading because it's Christmas. We're all with our families or we're sleeping. Because <laughs> it's night. It's, it's late at night where I'm at. Huh. But I like this style of reading. This was just like a little... I don't know, my guides told me to do this, so I was like, okay. <laughs> I actually, actually, my guides told me to do it, and they told me not to post it, but let's see what happens when I take things into my own hands. I know I shouldn't, but this was a cool reading. It was different, so I'm going to post it. I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. Worst case scenario, I give you guys a better reading tomorrow. Focus on the shit that matters. Focus on the shit that matters, Virgo. Little baby tarot says, one card. Two of swords. Are you gonna stay or are you gonna go? Do you wanna live in the past or the future? Do you want to live in the past or do you want to live in the now, Virgo?